Hey y'all, Decamon here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Last time, we snuck past the Steel Watcher and the Red Fist. I, uh, I should have known that Gortash would have something in the Steel Watchers, but I did not think that they would be directly connected to the Elder Brain. And the fact that that Red Fist did not react to that thing saying, you have committed crimes against the Absolute, you must die. Uh, leads me to believe that the fist, or at least a good portion of the fist, is now under Gortash's direct control. And did I hear something about a coronation? It's probably Gortash too. Oh, even better. Even freaking better. Ugh. Now, I wanted to come to camp and swap Lizelle for Karlak because I figured, you know, this is Gortash. These two have a history. We might get some extra dialogue lines. But the moment I came in here, this lit up. Letter from Arabella. The ink is still fresh. Hey you, so I owe you a lot. For one, I don't know what the inside of a snake's belly looks like. <laughs> yeah. For another, let me stay at the camp and you found out what happened to mom and pops. I'm on my own and Bone Man says it's a good thing. I just have to let the weave guide me and as far as I can tell, it's tugging me to Baldur's Gate so I'm headed there first. Aww. Uh... We may yet see her go. Oh, she's part of my allies. Well, sweet beans. All right. Carlac, get in here. Soldier. All right, let's get rolling. No room in your party. What should I do? Yeah, Lizelle will Excellent. swap out for right now. Let's go. Cause I'm sure you are due for a level. Yep. It's <sighs> the way this usually goes. Man, the moment I put Will or Gale in the party, they're gonna have so many levels to spend, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to put Will in at some point. Just, actually, I'm gonna have to put them both in at some point, because, you know, they're gonna need to have their quest lines resolving. What is this intimidating presence? Menace an enemy and still fear within them. You can maintain intimidating presence to prolong the target's fear. Ooh. Very nice. Now, is there anything on Lazelle that you need beforehand? Let me double check. I think Lizelle got those fancy um, goblet and bracelet things. No, she's got these, which are not bad. Especially considering what are yours right now? Temp 15 temp on a rage end, which ain't bad. Uh, this gives you an actual 10 or an actual 20 in strength, which is really good. Can't throw those, which sucks. Hmm. She just got a fresh AC booties, which aren't bad. Not bad at all. Click heals is pretty good. Huh. I mean, I can't throw half of these. Would love to be able to throw some of these at people. Uh, no, you should still be on your fancy great sword, wherever it was. Where is that damn thing? Uh, Jorgal's great sword, was that it? Saloon spear of no. Oh. Yeah. She has great weapon master, but the fact that I could throw this at people probably going to be a thing. Huh. I don't remember what sword you had on. I think it might have been Jorgel's great sword, which, you know, her sword is not great. <laughs> it's better than this just plain great sword plus 1. Maybe I let you wield the Spear of Night for a while, but you have great Weapon Master, don't you? I mean, this is just a straight plus three. You're using this. Okay. Like, you should be using that. Alright, any other pieces of equipment I want to swap around? No, 
those are all in use. I don't think those cloths are ever coming off of her. Those are just too good. This is meh. <laughs> when you deal psychic damage, well, she doesn't deal psychic damage. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Well, she can reckless is the thing. Hmm, it's better than nothing. Yes, Ring of Fling, that's definitely good. Uh, I cannot be blinded. Ghoulish Tut, oh god. Bandage on Insight, Invisibility and Blur, Dark Vision, Grants Resistance to Lightning Damage. Honestly, I'm gonna put this on. If those, I'm getting those Steel Wardens probably do electric damage and we have to start fighting those. Uh, that might be a thing. Oh, her level up didn't go through. <laughs> I must have left the screen beforehand. There you go. Look at that, she's got 100 plus health. All right, let's get out of here. Give her her buffs really quick. All right, Worms Rock Fortress. Halt! We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorne. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Your city. <laughs> Your city. It already is. Granted, there are a few formalities to complete, but well, why don't you come see? Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Oh, fuck me. We shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. Oh. I almost believed you this time. Lord Gortash is expecting. What's going on here? No time to talk. I have clients to brief and they're as sharp as spoons. Okay. Well, apparently there's a, a sigil here. Please make your way to the Okay, well, that's red. That's why nothing's gonna happen. This is the armory. Not a bloody open house. Oh. Fists only trade. Do I look like a shopkeeper? A little. This equipment isn't for sale. It belongs to the Flaming Fist. <laughs> Seek the cause of her sour mood. Interesting. Well, let's try a little deception first. Oh, please. <laughs> Come on. I guess she's not really uh, super thrilled with Gortash. I bloody wasn't. Too busy ordering more of those mechanical monstrosities to tell me. I suppose you can take a look, but make it quick. I will, I will, I will. Beast slaying arrows, plenty of arrows. Uh, dagger plus one. Let's get that to Karlak. More throwables for her that are actually worth throwing. Like that one. These plus one spears ain't half bad to throw. Uh, any of these unique? Any of these unique? No, for the most part, it's pretty generic bullshit. Uh, Asterion will take another arrow of many targets, though. And we have wares to sell. Do not, surprisingly. Done pretty good at keeping our wares low. 
that I still managed to pull way too much random bullshit. Here. Have an eye patch. Uh, have a normal spear to replace the plus one one I just bought off of you. Have a shitty shield that I no longer care about. Have random shoes? Why random shoes? But sure, why not? <laughs> Wolverine's hammer. Should get that back to him at some point. Ooh, that's actually sellable. Uh, anyone got anything else that's just randomly sellable? Like, yeah, some random books. Stay sharp, stranger. In these times, all we can trust are the blades in our hands. Very true. Nothing's not for sale. Asterian gets more inspiration. Dude, I'm getting so much random inspiration for Asterian, it's hilarious. Uh, I'm half surprised he hasn't gone over level on us at this point. Uh, what's down here? Worms Rock Prison? Oh. Uh, well, this is clearly not where I'm supposed to be, and the background is red on my mini-map, which means that's a bad place to end up. Eh, I'll get there, I'll get there. Sheesh. So if we ever have to know where the prison is, that's the... Uh, 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 that is not the way I came. Barracks? Barracks. Alright. Yeah, I don't need to be going thieving. Oh, uh, what are you... What are you doing in here? Oh, sorry. You're not a fist. Go on, get out, or I'll... I'll wake the others. Tell me what you're up to, or I'll wake them myself. <laughs> oh! Let's be friends! Ooh! Not bad. Please, that won't be necessary. I... I just needed gold. That's all. He's a little snake thief! Needed it for what? I'm getting out of here. Taking a ferry down the coast to get me home. Those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple, though. Danger money. It's a joke. So you're a deserter, then. They've got a point. <laughs> What's got them so spooked? Hmm. You haven't heard. An army is coming. They're saying it's unstoppable. Well, I plan to stop My it. My wife said we have to stand and fight, and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. <sighs> Seem capable from where I'm standing. I'm not a soldier. I only joined for the uniform and a warm bed. Ah. You're better off without me. I'm scared. All I want is to go home. All right, well. Interesting. What's he got? Oh, he's got friends on him. All right. <laughs> I was like, that's a weird buff he's got on him. Right, that's me. That's me. The damn thing again, huh? What the? What the hell are you doing here? If it isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. A travesty, really. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. Mm. I'd hate for him to miss the fun. Well, shit. Uh, well, if that's the case, I suppose that's my excuse I need to get Will in the party properly. Double Warlock, huh. I have to make him a, like a Blade Warlock or something. Can't have him clashing with my playstyle too much. Uh, 
sucks I'm gonna have to take Shadowheart out of the party, I think. Hmm? Ah, perfect. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? Hmm. Ah, Baldur's Gate was safe refuge when I left it. This must be Gortash's doing. As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one. Create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Step four, open Gortash the gates wide and let hell in. in. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. Uh Any of these important? All right, get in the Sorry, party. But there's no room for me. I like how you think. All right, my man's going to have so many levels to spend here. The pride of the gate. Actually, he may already be a, bat, a blade pack. I have to double check. <laughs> blade pack will just get an extra attack. Familiar gets an extra attack. Really? I don't remember that. Oh, well, uh, we're, we're clearly taking fireball. He's got Agonizing, he's got Double Sight. Slow, Bestow Curse, Mage Armor. I gotta remember what type he is, is the problem. He may end up going through a respec. Hmm. Let me give him Armor Shadows just as a spate, just a, uh, just for now. What if you have? Old person, blindness, armor, arms, and hex. Those are acceptable. I think he's a blade. Dark one's own luck. Change your fate and add a d10 to an ability check. Oh, that's cute. Uh, fear, counterspell. I use counterspell already. Cloud of daggers for now. Ah, yes, level four spells now. Act resistance to fire, cold damage, and retaliate against melee attacks. Wall of fire. And silence. Interesting. Uh, this actually doesn't care what pact or type you have, which is weird to me. So, you know what? Let's take this. New spell. What do I want? No effect on undead and constructs, huh? We'll grab that one for right now. Oh, and ability improvement, because he clearly needs that charisma by 20. Level 9. Cone of Cold, Flame Strike. Flame Strike is just so funny. 8d8. Or 10d6. You know what? We'll take this. 
can cast Conjure Elemental. Yep, we know that. You can cancel Enhance Leap. You can cast Speak with Dead without expending. Mm. Let's grab that. I can already Conjure Elemental if I want to. Fiendish Resistance. Should I be short rest? You can only have one resistance at a time. Cute. Uh, give you poison spray, I guess. And then now we can take flame strike. I have to look. If he's not a blade, I'm gonna probably send him into a respec. There you go. And then I need a shield. I need a shield. I don't have any extra shields, do I? Mother Humper, I just sold that extra shield, didn't I? Uh, well, fuck me squared. All right, well, this'll do for the time being. Let's get out of here. If I go back to the uh, shopkeep that was over there, then maybe I can actually get a shield off of her or buy my shield back that I sold that I shouldn't have, son of a bitch. I didn't think I'd need another shield, but clearly I do. Still alive, so that's progress. Uh, and his health is gonna suck for right now. Uh, actually, hold on. Asterion, before we get too far into this, would you mind long stridering his ass? Most people are here. You can lure them into a dragon's more if you promise a bag of sweets. Sad party's not wrong. What is it this time? I just want more stuff. Like, you know this? I need it back. I know, I know, you're getting extra gold because I'm buying this back from you. Because I'm an idiot. Uh yeah, that's the best you've got. Smoke powder arrows, god, those are so powerful. There. See? That wasn't that difficult. Alright. There we go. God, he needs that AC so badly. Alright. Bind pack weapon. Now we're good to go. <sighs> What's this icon? Confront Lord Gortash. <laughs> my, my, my. We are salty there, guys. You two do not get along, do you? Random cook here. Don't be stuck in the hells if it weren't for him. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Yes, 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 I know. All right, here. Go on up. Pay Gortash a visit. A fate to remember. I guarantee. Ah. Also, she has a buff on her called Zeriel's Protection. I assume that means she's invulnerable. Right? When attacked, Mazora will disappear and return after a minute. Oh, yeah, she'll just she'll just nope out if we take a swing at her. Oh god, here we go. Oh. My journal just updated like crazy. Gortash is protected by the Steel Watch. If we want to make a move against him, we should figure out how to deal with them first. Uh. Oh, and Arabella is back from learning how to control her powers. Oh, wow. Our allies list is getting longer. We got Halson, we got Volo, we got Arabella, we got... God, you guys are noisy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this could be Karlak's chance to confront him. Attend Gortash. Retrieve the hammer, reach Casador's palace, and get to Sorcerer Sundries at some point. God, there are so many of these things.
Kinspeople, oh God. Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengard. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him. Gortash. Mm -hmm. This is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. Oh, it's not it yet. Hold the horses. Father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. <laughs> Careful, Karlak. The Steel Watch will destroy us in one swipe if we attack Gortash here. Uh, that's probably the right call here. Ooh, boy. All right, I don't have guidance anymore in the party. That's gonna suck. That free D4 is just so much buffer. So we bide our time, but make no mistake, that monkey is mine. Oh, you'll get your chance, Adam, I promise. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Carlag. Come and say a proper hello. <laughs> my respects! You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... Ah, oh, how I've missed your <laughs> colourful turns of phrase. We must catch up just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. God, he even looks evil as shit. As you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. Hmm. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. I'm pretty sure it will, actually. A grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. You are out of your goddamn mind. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. I'm not interested in bargaining with the likes of you. The likes of you stand to benefit from the likes of me. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. And you want them for yourself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. <laughs> Not afraid of her, were you? Met her assassins. Efficient killers, by all accounts. I know you survived previous encounters, but she won't relent. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. <laughs> Sad but she true. She me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, She'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Yeah, I don't believe you. I do not believe you. You want me to believe you have no harm to the city? I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together, we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. He's insane. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to, like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? Uh, hell no? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Let's be allies, said the Viper to the Frog. I'm kind of with Karlak on this one. All right. Uh, neither of these are really very nice. Examine his body language. Can you trust him? No. I can't trust him. This is a 50-50 roll, and that's not good enough. But I don't think I'm going to waste an inspiration on it. Look carefully, but discover nothing. <laughs> As allies, none of you can be trusted. I'll think about it, no promise. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. What? Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. Take that with a grain of salt. This is Gortash we're talking to. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Huh. I must go. Before you do, come and witness. As I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Uh, let's get this over with. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Cripes on a Christmas tree. Ugh. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. The only reason I'm not stabbing this guy is all these automatons in the room. And all the bystanders. Enver Gortash, swear and this guy. I gotta Baldur's free him. Blade ...to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without. I swear. You're full of shit. Thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer. I swear. Gather, I was gather. so expecting the camera to pan down and show his fingers crossed. <laughs> Say nothing. I'm not nodding. The council appoints you, Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Hey. Yeah, until the Steel Watcher dealt with, I ain't going near this guy. The Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. Oh dear. I'm more interested in talking to the Duke than anything. Truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Father, my dearest boy, the hells have touched you, but you've come to me just as Gorta said you would. A true soul, no less. Father and son. Unstoppable generals. You and your allies will usher in a new. God damn. He is fully under the thrall of that thing. By the gods, what are they made of this city's great hero? What is a hero? If not an actor for the greater good. Faerun suffers in darkness. Tear has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed but Baldur's gate will soon burn bright a beacon <laughs> to light the heavens uh phrasing my man and i will ignite the final spark and that true soul is the greatest of goods no this isn't him this is the tadpole talking clearly a brief moment uncertainty clouds his mind then dissipates the astral prism vibrates in concord. Mm. Nonsense is this. I... The prism quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. Oh, he's still in there. Baldur's Gate will ascend. 
Toril's first and only grand city. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to use my Elithid abilities here. DC 2! Good enough. First comes a vision of terror. The city of Baldur's Gate taken by Elithids. But beyond the terror, there is hope. You see a beaming raven guard presiding over the sunlit city, applauded by the people. A people at peace. The true raven guard lurks somewhere in this infected mind, seeking freedom, seeking victory. Have we finished then? <sighs> I'm here to help you. Florek sent me. Help me? Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of Avernus. Damn. She's been punished for her lies. What? Don't let her get to you. Punished? When he says punished, do you think he means locked up or brutally murdered? Jesus, <laughs> hysteria. Ah. Uh, let's go into the brain again. And literally, it's not a one. Within Ravenguard's memories, you find Counselor Floric. She is confined in a cell right here in Worm's Rock. Oh, the shit. sun rises, true soul. Are you ready? Well, shit. Uh, Will, you want to, like, talk here? So does Carlock. Incredible. To hear my father's voice speak those words. Like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. But there's still a glimmer of him in there, calling for release. I feel it. I know it. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. Hmm. So how do we stop it is the real question. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash in all his glory. What did you make of him? He's scum. <laughs> he seems like an absolute fraud in a very nice coat. Yeah. Fucker always had expensive taste. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? Uh, when people are scared, they'll do whatever it takes to feel safe. Sad, but true. And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. There's a lot of echo in this chamber. Uh, what's the quest marker here for, huh? Confront Lord Gortash. Uh, speak to Floric. Oh, she's below us. Return to Mizora. So I can just talk to you? God, he's got a lot of health. Uh, I'm gonna save just in case talking to him sets something off that I don't want to deal with. Because if that's the case... Dearest Karlak, I'd busy myself finding Orin if I were you. I'll still be here for any unfinished business once you've secured your camp. That's it? That's all you have to say to me? Were you hoping for something else? A word of wisdom? A hug? A spear of the you. arse? I don't hope for things anymore. I just take whatever it is I want. See you soon, motherfucker. Oh my! will. Well, that was entertaining, at least. <sighs> Do I have to go back to Menzora? It's just gonna end badly, isn't it? God, how do we save the Duke, though? Can we save the Duke? What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Menzora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, 
Gortash has had your father relocated. Oh, already? I thought Gortash would want to keep him around. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game, a murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think, there's no way to save him. Or is there? Oh, God. You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Oh, my goodness. Lovely. Man, we have multiple reasons to head to camp now. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Yeah, good question. She's up to nothing good. I have no idea, but I can't wait to find out. Where's Cortash taking your father, do you think? I couldn't even fathom a guess. Though, I doubt we'll need to wait long for answers. Let's make camp when we're able. Mazora will be waiting. Until then, may my father keep safe. Whatever coop he's been flown to. Hmm. Well, clearly, we're just gonna go to camp and deal with, like, eight different things here. Seriously. Oh my goodness. So there's a potential spy in the camp. Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Oh dear. Could we maybe stay here? Yes! We can play one a cup! Alright. Yes! You've got a fire and everything! I can cook really good! Whatever you want! Thank you, thank you! I wonder if there's a size limit on uh, shapeshifters, because if there is, money's good on this one. Uh, I want to talk to the cat. I'm just a cat, but please talk to Yenna. Why are you so scared? Why are you so nosy? Is, do you know what happened to her mother? Nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. Maybe she made like a cat and went off to, to spend her last life. Yenna is treating you. Y Yenna is my best friend. She's kind. H help her, not me. But please don't. That cat is really nervous for some strange reason. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients. Huh. Interesting. I doubt it's a playable character, if anyone's been swapped around. But I'll check everyone just to see if anyone's got any weird conversations. Whatever it is, she comes to. Gonna. Voss is on underground. He'll be waiting for us there. Uh, okay. No, no new interesting conversation pieces there. And I'm gonna check everyone just to be sure. Well met. Uh, okay. Nothing interesting there. Oh, I bet it's Withers. Miss Zora, I take anything she says with a grain of salt. But with her claws as deep in our business as they are, I guess we can't ignore her completely. Okay, nothing interesting there. Will ought to know what happened with Mizora. 
Whatever she has in store for him can't be good. I'd join you, oh. but things later then. Sorry, wrong conversation. It's not one of you two, is it? Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. <laughs> you should join the camp permanently. We can fight the powers of evil together. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Hmm. I am free from my bonds. Ah, you okay. You must face them. Already heard that conversation. Is it Isabel? I can't believe it. And by killing him, you set him free. You set Aelin free. No. Olsen? When I first met you, Saving yourself from ceremophosis was your... I trust your leadership and respect your decisions. Yeah, yeah, I the, the whole worm thing. Don't remind me. Come to regret. Don't remind me about the worm thing. I'm not thrilled about it. Little Bob! You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Good. You like it here, huh? Nice here. Okay. The cave smell like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. His conversation doesn't seem to have changed any. There's Withers. Fate, dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection? The girl has left to hew her own path. Hmm. She left behind. Yeah. Hast thou other business? Okay. Well, shit. So it's either the little kid or Gortash was, you know, full of shit, which is entirely possible. An extra stable over here, I guess. Huh. Oh, this is going to be bad, but I suppose there's no other way to get this to fire off than to fire it off. Where's my actual rest spot is the $2 question. Hmm. Where, oh where, is my actual end of the day spot? go. What shit deal is she going to offer us now? What's with the entourage? Come, sisters, be my testament. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. You've heard of such devils. Sisters of justice. Adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Uh, I don't recall sending out invitations to the Sisters of Justice here. You do not call upon the Sisters. They come when the Hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain. Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Oh, great. Another contract? Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. Yet no contract is ended without sacrifice, Will. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a 
choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Oh, fuck. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. I agree. <laughs> Damn, what will happen to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. Wow. Uh... God. If I do this, is there no actual way to save the Duke? God, do I screw over Will? Where's the option where I'm like, let Will make his choice, huh? Seriously. Okay, so I went and bugged my friend about this one really quick. He said that uh, while this guarantees the Duke survives, this does not guarantee the Duke dies. So, also fuck Mizora. You damned wretch. Father. Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. All right, well, you're free. Now we just got to actually figure out how to save your father. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. And don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Oh, well, that was interesting. Loophole. Break Will's pact with Mazora. Now all of a sudden I got people to talk to again. Oh great, she's just hanging around town now. Gods, I spent seven years choked by Mazora's leash, and I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. <sighs> You're your own man now, Will. It's better this way. I have to believe that. I'm not the Hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The blade will be guiding his own hand. But freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a moat of tranquility. The Raven Guard name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. Your father's not dead yet, Will. Maybe there is a way to save him. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. <laughs> What's our next step then? We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city. From the brain. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, his proposition. The hell with his proposition. Gotta find Counselor Floric, held deep within Worm's Rock. That's what we'll find them. Uh, Will broke the pact, choosing his freedom over his father's life. We left our remaining concerns behind us. Really? It says completed. Huh. Did my friend just lie to me and tell me no? Uh, that would suck if that's the case. 
<sighs> Soldier, my engine. It hurts. I think this might be it. Soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. Shit. But look, we've just about made it to the city. That'll do me. Let's go protect it. <sighs> Whatever happens after that is between me and the so-called gods. Damn. You don't think we'll find you a cure? With this heat going, I can't spare the energy to think. Ugh. I just want to enjoy whatever's left of this life of mine. <laughs> anyway, it could be worse. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be, with who I'm meant to be with. How many people can say that? Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, still don't know where I'm supposed to be actually doing my hi, Gale. You want to talk too? must claim the crown of Carsus for ourselves before anyone else does that was random huh okay again don't know where our little campsite is uh where is our little campsite Am I actually supposed to be crash? Oh, I see. I'm supposed to be crashing over here. At least I would assume so. Go to bed. Auto. All right. Get our full rest in here. This is unexpected. Hey. We're having a little heart-to-heart -heart time with the absolute, or not the absolute, the emperor. How did you? It's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Hmm. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. Hence the reason for the earthquakes. He's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing. An elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Uh... Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. <laughs> Your just... company isn't unwelcome. Hmm. You seem troubled, man. An accurate summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Memories of what? Someone from your past? Indeed. Duke Stelmane. Or as I knew her, Melin, when she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. <laughs> really? In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Hmm. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to 
chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. Damn. If you didn't know you were Mind Flare, I'd say you were upset. Astute as ever. You think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. Billin thought the same at first. You are wrong. Feeling is vital to the pursuit of anyone's goals. Even the Mind Flayers. Like you, Mind Flayers no fear. Like you, we crave. Recognition. Yeah, but didn't Wither say you guys have no souls? Unlike the others of my kind, I am no slave to either. My end is and always has been freedom. Berlin understood this. Berlin became my freedom. Hmm. That was insightful. I am glad you were able to learn something. Huh. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. Interesting. Huh. Almost kind of feel bad about wanting to free Orpheus now, but damn. Like, I feel like freeing Orpheus is still the best choice here. Oh. Nothing happened. I'm kind of disappointed, actually. See, I thought for sure that we were going to be, like, attacked in the night or something, but I guess not. Hmm. Well, I've got a lot to think about now. Hmm. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite, and subscribe to join me for more intense tabletop action. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Nice.